Do you want to exercise but just can't find the motivation? Our next guest has never shied away from fitness. From mountain climbing in Tibet to running a marathon in snowshoes, Sean Birch has been called one of the fittest men on earth. And he joins us now with his new book, Hyper Fitness. So glad you could join us. Appreciate it. Nice to have this. you here. Good morning. Well, why do they call it hyper fitness? Are you kind of a hyper guy? Well, no, hyper fitness is more, it's about being excited about life, enjoying life to the fullest. And that's what I try to do. And that's what this program does, is enjoy life to your fullest. Can't you enjoy life with a remote control and a barca launcher? <laughs> yeah, you can do that as <laughs> well. Ab absolutely. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm searching for something deeper in people. This is, this is about reaching your goals and your dreams in life. Well, in the book, in fact, in the very beginning of the book, you talk about your grandfather who, who really inspired you. To yeah, live this life, didn't he? What tell Absol us that story? Absolutely. He actually on, on his deathbed, he said, "You you have you know you have to live your dreams and goals in life." And and I, to my grandfather, I, I thought he'd done everything, but yet he hadn't. He had so many dreams and goals that were going to be left as just that dreams. And then on uh, at his funeral, I decided right then I was like, you know what? I have a goal: is climbing Mount Everest. Yeah. And I had no idea how I was going to do it, but I said, whatever it takes, I'm going to do it. And hey. so I went on the path, and that's pretty much the journey here: hyper fitness. Tell uh us about this picture here. Oh, that's actually a picture on the top of a mountain called Shishimpengma, which is in Tibet. It's the 13th highest peak in the world. And that was actually about 8.30 at night. Uh, what is that around you? What was that, what was that stuff? Is that your... Just yeah, well, yeah your... It's, it's your Himalayan suit. Okay. It, it's pretty much like a walking sleeping bag. You have to have that in order to, to stay warm. It looked like a, a scene out of Lost in Space. It was your reading. <laughs> yeah. It, um, it felt like that. When, when you climbed Everest, too, you did, it, you did it with very little supplemental oxygen. Yeah, my whole, my whole plan was to do it without supplementary oxygen, but it, it took me seven days. The weather was so bad that year. It was in 2003 that I had no other choice on the summit, second summit day to, to use oxygen on the way up. I used it for 10 hours. Why, why did you not want to use oxygen? Because it's, I think it's more pure to be with one with nature, one with the mountain. So I never, I never climbed with submarine oxygen before. That was the first time. I had no, actually no idea what I was doing. I actually found out later from a USA health editor that I actually had used I was better off not even using supplementary oxygen because I was using only one liter per minute. And you're supposed to use three to four. But I had no clue. I had no, I had no idea what I was doing because I was going by myself. So I didn't, I didn't know what to do with the gauge. Oh, my gosh. So You're married and have a child. Yeah. And how do you work in all of this? And, and is your wife as fit as you are? Yeah, my wife is, is pretty fit. Yeah, she does triathlons. But, uh, you know, it changed things. When I had my, after my son, I had to, uh, after two, 2003, after I had my son, that... Uh, it, it changed little things. I started thinking about life a different way. I still, I still like to do the extreme stuff, but maybe, you know, running up Kilimanjaro is a lot different than going to Everest and, and climbing the peak. So, but, you know, I, this is who I am. I, I love doing extreme yeah. it, things. It's just a way to push myself. Okay, so let's talk about people who don't have that motivation you have. How, how can we get it? I mean, I'd love to be fit. I'd love to feel better, but I just never find that time. Hey, well, that's the big thing. Today with, with, with fitness, it's r routine, and that's the problem. It's, it's become a routine. And I try to bring, with, with hyper fitness, I bring over 400 different exercises. I'm trying to make exercising exciting to you. So when you wake up in the morning, you say, you know what, I want, I want to exercise. I want to improve myself and be the best I can be. And that's what I try to do with this program. I have three different levels, trekker, climber, and Sherpa. And each one is, one's 30 <laughs> minutes, one's 45 minutes, one's an hour to hour and a half. So it depends on what your level is. But I, I can take any human being, I think, if they do the program, and enhance and improve their life. Can you show us three exercises that you just really think would be key to us? Yeah, absolutely. Three shape. body weight exercises don't require any any dumbbells or okay. any weights Let's at do all. It. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll follow okay. you. All right. Oh, and and uh, Dave was asking you earlier, but can you tell our folks your body fat? I mean, this is incredible. Well, my body fat now is it's it, it changed about 3.5 to 5 percent because I'm not I'm not doing an expedition. I'm I'm, I'm out here promoting the book. So between but Sean and me, we have a body fat index of 27. <laughs> yeah, <sir>. That's pretty <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah exactly. You add it up. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to probably demonstrate this way. Okay. This is. Three exercises. Actually, my exercises are, are dynamic. I just don't ask you to do push-ups. They're kind of a bunch of different movements in one exercise. Okay. okay. So this first one I do is you do. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the exercise first, and maybe we'll try it. Okay. You can do it. But you do a, a tricep push-up. So you come down a tricep push-up. So you've got your hand. You pop up. Okay. And then you jump. Up. Again, I'm using as men as much of muscle the whole groups thing as you was possibly the can. Yeah, so that's so one so move. One that's one move. So you come down. That's part of it. That's part of it. Tricep push up to a pop up to a jump up. up. Go for Repeat it. Repeat that. I, I could do that if I hadn't taken my riddle in this morning. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. First, we get down. But like no, this. the first part the was the jumping you can, down, right? You well, know, you can be or you can start you can start in a push up There's position, no but you want to think as jump down. You could you, <laughs> tricep push up. You want to bring your hands just a little bit closer together if you can. Right, there you go. Like Perfect. This? Perfect. Okay, go down. Push up. Come up. Yep. And then jump up. Oh, good. Nice. All right, let's see you do it. 
No, next, next exercise. Okay. Okay, next exercise. <laughs> I have modifications for this, but we don't have time. Okay, the next one. Uh, by the way, just one of those a day? <laughs> yeah, four days, three days, three days a week. No, no, you have to do it at least 15 to 20 times. We'll do three exercises, okay. 15 to 20 times, if you can. You do as many as you possibly can. But again, we're using all of our muscle groups. That's okay. the most important thing. Mm -hmm. We don't separate it. We don't do cardio and strength. We combine. Do it all at one time. Oh, that makes uh, yeah, sense. absolutely. I like that because that, that actually saves time. Oh, absolutely, it saves time, but it's, it's more effective. It's okay. definitely yeah. more effective. Let's see the next one. All right, the next one we're going to do is a, get in a push-up position. Mm -hmm. Do a push-up and then just a leg lift. Okay, oh, so my I'm working God. my my chest as well as my abdominal wall, my lower back, and, and my leg. You know, the order of the hand. Well, you moves. know, we are slowly, quickly running out of we time. We have so just show us the last one. Oh, show us the last oh, one. Lucky. Okay, this is what people, most people are, are, are interested in, in mountain climbers. I do a thing called rock climbers, okay? So what you do is you bring your leg up, leg oh, up. Yeah, that's a tough one. Out to the side. Oh. Out to the side. Oh, my God. Back, pop, and then a full. Jumping jack. Full jumping jack to me is you clap high, you clap low. A lot of people just do these little things. No, you clap high and you clap Okay, low. so back out, back side, back out, back side, jump up, jumping jack. Yeah, you, want, you want to do it? Uh, well, while Dave does gonna, that, I'll, I'll try. Folks, I'll the book try. of yeah, is called Hyper Fitness 12 yeah. Weeks to Conquering Your Inner Everest. No, no. This, Sean, this, Sean this, thank this, you right? so much. And Dave, great job. <laughs> is this there. it? Good is job. this it? Yeah, we'll show you after the segment's over. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, kind of. <laughs> this is how I Actually, did Actually, that's a new exercise. Not bad. <laughs> and then jumping jack. Whoa, oh, good. good one. I think okay. I broke a hip. All right, All right. Let's, let's go out to Kara now. Hey, Kara.